Hi guys and welcome back to the Mario Brothers. Today we're going to be showing you this stunning listing. Hold your horses, draw shots. Let's go! All right, guys, you've seen it in the detail shot. This home is beautiful. And this grand entrance is not only captivating due to its double height ceiling, it's also super elegant and sets the tone of what we'll see in this entire tour. Now, obviously, we have covered spaces. Put your jacket off, conveniently positioned right by the entrance door. A big floor to ceiling mirror where you can check your style out before you leave the home to see if you're Marbella fashionably fit. Now guys, we have three bedrooms up in the first floor. On this level, we have two. In the basement, we have one. A lot to look at, so stay tuned. And now, living room, let's go. All right, guys, you've seen this grand living room area. It's airy, it's ample, it's super well designed. You've got lacquered cupboard spaces here, niche for the television, double height ceiling. I reckon it's around three meters tall. Sound system installed. Nice recessed lighting, LED as well in the false wall. You see that in the night shots. This home is exquisite, it's contemporary, and it's throughout designed perfectly. That was the ample living room area. Let's check out the dining area right there. Guys, <laughs> space is the word we should use in this home. 921 square meters of interior built and you get to really feel that this home is airy. I mean, just look at these dangling chandeliers in your 12-seated dinner table. Now, if you don't want to eat inside, you also have the possibility to do that. All you need to do is slide the sugar windows and have a fine dine outside in your covered terrace. What I like a lot is the water uh, play outside, which reflects on the ceiling. Yeah. This is a minor detail, but still, I, I really enjoy seeing it. It's really cool. Does the camera capture that well as well? Of course, that's why Fab. I mentioned it. Fab. And the hanging chandelier, really nice and funky. Chidango one. Exactly. Really cool. It's styled throughout, as I promised you at And don't the forget the whole marmor facade on the back. It's, it's this pinkish marble with a lot of nice little freckles. And it's kind of put into this frame here to really give focus and set focus onto the marble piece here. It's like a picture. Yeah, it's natural, natural art. Natural picture, exactly. It's pretty, very pretty. All right. Wow. <laughs> that alone must have been really expensive. And now we have the kitchen, so let's have a look together. Come on. kitchen is clean, it's minimalistic, and it has everything you need installed. Obviously a big kitchen countertop, adjacent to it we have a dinner table with four seats, two sink vanity, natural light coming in, Bosch appliances throughout like the extractor above, induction as well, fridges here to the left and to the right with nice wooden paneling, a continuous style and design. Fantastic. Obviously, we also have these windows here. 
facing the back side of the house where Which you is have, great because then you can check who's coming into the house. You can check who's coming through the house and you can also look at greenery whilst you prepare your food and that's pretty cool. More cupboards and this is the place I said adjacent to the kitchen island where you come and eat your fake apples. Cool, that's that. Bedrooms are two on this level and I think it's time for us to check them out. So let's go. We have three floors. It can be accessed with the Schindler lift that we have here. I'm gonna use it later. We have a guest toilet here, really elegant. We should have a look at it together. Let's just walk in, you and I, fully plastered with natural stone. This stone, by the way, is the same one as laid out through the entire floor surface of the three floors. That one is slightly more distinctive. Big mirror, back LED light coming gently out. It's cool because it seems like it's flowing. 100% the mirror and I mean the ceiling height as well is insane in this house This is good three meters and it also has a full ceiling with recessed lighting installed This is what space is if you have so much space that you can have a, actually have a, a Full ceiling on yeah. top of it big time. You wanted to point something out about these doors. Yeah, Patrick. lacquered doors and cupboards as well Yeah, really Pretty like neat. Them. Yeah custom made for each door I presume but anyways, I mean look at the height of the door yeah, I'm 183, this is what, three meters for sure. Yeah. And what I love... I mean, here you'll see it even better. Yeah. Oh the yeah, door this door. Yeah. You also have soft close here. Voila. Now, on this section of the house, we have two ensuite bedrooms that are basically separated from the main living area on the floor. And we're gonna be looking at it together and it's nice that the door is closing the section in case you have guests who use the guest toilet. Just st stand by the door because now we can really capture the size of the door. Don't make us one meter 80, what, one? Three, come on. 83, and this door is massive. Yeah, and the same lacquering throughout and the door framing and the door itself. It's really neat. Yeah. Neat. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Bedroom to the right and behind me. Let's start with this one, detail shots, let's go. Big floor to ceiling windows with an access point outside, so it's even nice. You look at greenery and you also have a super styled out bedroom here with this bed framing and the wallpaper and the super high ceiling and the full ceiling with LED strips, air conditioning units installed. It leaves nothing out this bedroom and it's bedroom number one. It's for your guests and they will have it very luxurious staying here. And this once again are the lacquered cupboards that Patrick spoke about before with a lot of space to put your things in and recessed lighting to illuminate everything. Yeah, and also double colored. Yeah, it's two-toned, that's nice. Yeah, which gives a nice separation. I mean, you see these uh, grayish tones in the doors as well, which is great. Yeah, so it's a nice fusion. And this door doesn't have a traditional handle, which is also super cool. So when you basically close it, it just Merges flows with, in. Yeah, yeah. With everything. It's cool. Great. Should we have a look at the bathroom? All right, let's just fly let's in quickly. Because once again, everything's natural look how stone. High this is where the water is coming down. And th that's three meters again. I'm not kidding. Big niche here as well to put your shampoos into. It's a heavy bathroom, but yet again, it seems super light. Heavy because it's got natural stones everywhere plastered onto the wall. Once in vanity, solid. And here again, it's not one tone of marble. It's actually two. If you look at the where the mirror is hanging, it's slightly darker and yes. has these reset slides behind. Yeah. So it really seems yeah, to yeah, be everything well. like 3D. Yeah. It, it, exactly. We'll come to the 3D element in more detail later, but Patrick's very right. That was bedroom number one. Let's check out bedroom number two. Right, bedroom number two has a beautiful feature. We'll show you in a second. Let's just look at the contemporary style and design of all the bedrooms and the entire house, which is so throughout, clean lines, 
kind of modern contemporary, a little bit of classic, super warm and beautiful. That's a nice word. And this bedroom has the great feature that you can walk out right into your spacious outdoor living area. Got a nice seating area here. At the far end is the dinner table that I spoke about. And we have a grand 100 square meter swimming pool. But everything later, guys, so stay tuned. Patrick, you want to say something? Yeah. Just spit it out, man. Come you on. You know what I love about this bedroom and why this bedroom in particular would be my one? Tell me. Because you could get up in the morning, take a very fast run, and boom, right in the swimming pool. Because that's that's where it is. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. So, Fantastic. I mean, there's nothing better than in summer in particular when the temperatures allow it to go for a nice dip in the morning to kind of kickstart the day. I mean, listen, it's February, it's super warm, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. We could go for a swim later, once okay. the job here is done. Now let's go check out more of the house. I would say level one is now awaiting you. Vamos. Obviously, this is an ensuite bathroom that we should look at because it is beautiful. I've been using that word quite a lot. Let's say it's grand. Hello, it and it's me. And if you point the camera here, this is the kind of 3D effect you mentioned before, right? Yeah. The two different marble stones and tonations. I really love it. Yeah. It stands out and also the niche where you can put your shampoo there. Great. Just it, great. It's cool how they made natural stone an integration of design. One sink vanity here, also with the natural stone countertop, big mirror. Patrick, me, subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for allowing us to tour your exclusive listing. Let's continue, come on, <laughs> this way. Now you'll understand how far back set the two bedrooms are that we have just shown you. Soft closing door, oh, I love it. It just goes bloop. Elevator, we'll use that later. We're back in the grand entrance hall, ladies and gentlemen. Now, wow, I mean, the picture windows we have here set the mood of this entrance. Light lit, captivating, double height ceiling. It is so airy and beautiful. Mind blowing. <laughs> All right, let's take the staircase up to three further bedrooms. It's a nice staircase, huh? very elegant. Crystal barriers as well. And all these reset lights and yeah. this, uh, I mean, I don't think it's a natural Skylight, but still it's just... Oh, just above. It's a very good question, but either way, it adds a lot of light feeling. And as well, you'll be seeing a lot in the night shot detail shots on how this home illuminates. But now, let's continue. Now, we have three bedrooms on this level. The main bedroom to my left, we'll come to that later. Keep the best for last. What we have up front, super important, more picture windows. This home is flooded with picture windows, creating a flood of light, which is super cool. And right up front, you have La Sarquia Golf, palm trees, tropical views, and it's undisrupted. That's the elevator that I'm gonna be taking down to the basement later. More natural light, and of course, bedroom number three and four. Let's start with this one. No, I think this is the nicest one. Let's start off with this one first. Let's go. Bedroom number three, same applies, quality throughout. Nice designer wall here. And of course, entrance and entrance. Exit. As exit, a salida to a private terrace. Let's look at it. Oh, shine bright like a diamond. No singing career for me, but the sun is shining bright. This is your private terrace from where you would probably enjoy morning sun the most. The entire orientation of the house is south, which is great, meaning you get the sun moving like a dome throughout the day on you. And yeah, basically, private terrace, super cool. Let's check out bedroom number four. Vamos. But before we do, another ensuite bathroom worthy of exploring cupboard spaces. Should we just have a, you can't really have a look at it, but the size is enormous. We have three of them, hang your clothes here. Great. And I also like how they change. Now, 
This one doesn't have a line in between, but has vertical lines, not horizontal ones. Perfect. I didn't know that. And it's true. And then you have the mirror on the other side, which again gives you more space and the possibility to look at yourself once you finish dressing. And a window. Wow. Beautiful. And a window. And a guest toilet. <laughs> guest toilet. <laughs> Well, Not a guest, guest toilet, an ensuite en bathroom yeah. for the is it, is third it bedroom. Is it ensuite or ensuite? It's ensuite. I think en. I think it's all. It's from France, French. Or en suite. Yeah, en suite. So I said en suite. En suite. It doesn't matter. Where's so I think foreigners. it's an E, not an on, but okay. Yeah. Let us know if any French yeah. people are watching. Are we Comment making big below. mistakes here? <laughs> English is a difficult language. It's not our native language. Excusez moi. Anyways, different natural stone plastered on the back wall here. I'm a huge fan of that. Yeah, it's a so nice it's, distinction. Yeah, it, it kind of, it just stands out. It gives more depth to the room. Yeah, and that's just by changing the color yeah. of the natural stone. Big shower as well, sliding crystal doors. Is it a window behind you? Yeah, do you not, actually want to have yeah, a look at it? it? Just wind it up and let's see. Boom, nature. Nature, more natural light coming in. Toilet bidet at the far end. Fantastic. Soft clothes. Oh, love it. And now to bedroom number four. Let's go. Slightly bigger. All this wall are cupboard spaces, super well designed. You've seen it in the detail shots. And of course this spacious private terrace for this bedroom. Voila. How much really nice. Look from at this there. view. Yeah, look at this. It's insane. And what a beautiful day. People, we are We live in, in paradise. We've done a, by the way, a Madrid tour and People were saying, oh yeah, city views are nice, but I want tropical views. Well, here it is. I mean, I cannot get more tropical Mediterranean as the view that we have unfolding in front of us. Yeah. And look at the dimension of this terrace as well. I mean, that's what you come for in... in... Yeah, that's what you come for here to Marbella, right? For it's the size. Outside living. The quality of life. But now outside living, you need terraces. Yeah. What is a bedroom without terraces? That's and what I was sort of missing in, in, in Madrid was this I uh, agree. You know, apartments. I mean, having an apartment in a big city would not be something for me, but then not having a terrace either, where you can like step outside and just, you know. Enjoy the city. Say good uh, morning to the world. I understand what you mean fully, but it probably makes more sense here. We also have sea views, which is slightly difficult to obtain in the Gulf Valley, because it's a valley. But this plot, which measures 2,100 square meters is elevated. It's in La Sequia, which is in Nueva Andalusia, and you have sea views, which is fantastic. Which we would have shown you, but unfortunately today it's a little bit uh, cloudy at the yeah. sea, so Anyways, maybe next time. Just believe us, guys. <laughs> Let's go. I've just realized how short my pants are. I think I washed them too warm. <laughs> a little bit like a hipster. Anyways, this is the ensuite, ensuite bathroom of bedroom number four. And it's the only bedroom besides the masters that has a bathtub from Hydrobox. Really cool. Obviously rain shower as well. And this play with two-tone marble elements on the wall here makes this one very classical and very rich and natural elements used. And as we sure. said before, love it. Wow. Yeah. And, and also black marble here. Yeah. It's natural great. stone, it's fantastic here. And it's really Galassia Italian bathtub, mini bathtub. I mean, I just realized this looks like a mini bathtub for you to bathe your fingers in. It looks, I like how it just stands there. Great so light, yeah. Cool. Amazing. All right, guys, three bedrooms. What, one, two. We saw three bedrooms, which were already super nice. Now it's time for the masters, let's go. We've seen four bedrooms, thank you Patrick. Two bedrooms here, two bedrooms on the main level, and now it's time for bedroom number five, which is a little the main master. bedroom. Let's go.
right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, the master bedroom in all its glory. Nice how you have this luminosity from corner to the end. And of course, these big floor to ceiling Schoko windows that open up. Let's have a quick look because Schoko is German and it is one of the best window companies in the world. Look how easy this slides open. And you also have your terrace here, once again, to be used by the main bedroom. And finally speaking, I think this terrace is slightly smaller than bedroom number two that we have seen on this it level. Yes, it is. Yeah, but same applies. Beautiful views. Yeah, maybe you can now even see the sea. Can you? Just like, yeah. It's right it's, there. I mean, obviously I'm filming towards the sun, but there's the sea, guys. There, voila. There, there, there. Amazing. Right. <laughs> And I really like the valley behind you as well. It's the Go Valley. This is the hippest, coolest, and most desired area in Web Andalusia. The property prices are increasing, as is the demand, which obviously makes sense. Gracious, spacious, nice little place to sit and make your makeup. And of course, if we scooch over back to the backside, we have a whole valley here with cupboard spaces and as well this False or real? I'm gonna put a disclaimer in the video. Skylight above, recess lighting. A lot of cupboard spaces for him and her. Obviously, everything is here. I mean, false or not false, it gives you this nice soft light. 100%. Cool, and this main bathroom, voila. Is this nice and spacious, big window giving you the view out. When you're having a bath, you get to actually watch the golfers Fair. right up front. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the same applies. Two-tone natural stone play here, LED strips, the detail shots in the night. I'm sure you guys are loving it. If you are, thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Let's put focus on the two baby baths that we have here. They call things in this two sink vanity mount that we have here. And again, it's like a waterfall feature of the same natural stone used plastered in the backside and on this countertop in the sink. I'm impressed. This home is, it sits so solid. It has a lot of space and it's been used so nicely like here, where we have two rain showers, one to the left, and one to the right, and super, a lot of space. I mean, look, you do. You know what, let me just uh, yeah, do exercises under the bar. Bye. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. One, two, perfect. And, and then the window arrows. again, no? I'm gonna open it because I just want you guys to understand that you have views to greenery as well. Fantastic. Getting it? Yes, for sure. All right, let's continue to the basement with a surprise. Vamos. Okay, guys, so we have now seen in total five beautiful bedrooms and we are about to go down to the basement. So we have three floors in this beautiful home of 921 square meters of size. And I'm gonna be taking the elevator. What a luxury to have it. By the way, this is spontaneous, but the same Flooring as here is also put into the elevator. Same That's marble. Yep. Eye for detail. And now let's see who gets down to the basement first. Should we give it a race? Okay, one, two, three. Let's go, come on. You better run. No, I'm faster. No, you won't. That was close. Ah, but I Same think timing. I won. Now we have another bedroom. This makes bedroom number six in this house. Let's have a look at it together. Boom, you've seen in the detail shots, elegant throughout, super spacious, by the way, for a bedroom in the basement, but it's massive. Yeah, we shouldn't really call it a basement, should we, Patrick? No, not really. There's Why? too much natural light. 
Exactly, look at this little terrace. Well, it's not that little actually. We have a terrace here with a botanic wall that wraps around, maybe they call it a English patio, natural light coming in and a cool chill out area to come possibly in high season summer when it's super warm outside. This is shaded, it's where you come, relax, read a book. It's perfect. Yeah, it's amazing. I love this wall, by the way, of plantation. Greenery. And it's yeah. real. It's none of these fake ones. Fantastic. Little and now? Oh yeah. Office, I mean office table. Cool how it's, Powder by table. the way, it seems floating, right? Because you only yeah. have one leg here. It and merges it with the rest. Yeah. I and think it's this lacquered is, as well. Maybe this is a whole console that comes in one piece. I think in this house, nothing comes in one piece, but everything is designed. Yeah. This is just too yeah, unique. True. Very true. Cool bedroom. And yeah, cupboard spaces, plenty for. And there is a window. <laughs> yeah, it's a small one, but it's yeah. also Shuko. And I'm sure I said that right because you should be in Deutsch. Shuko, this is a Shuko window. <laughs> and the <a> toilet, <laughs> shower, bathroom. Bathroom, everything. The same quality, the same design. They didn't spare a penny to make the third floor, the basement, any worse than the rest. And look, voila. Yeah. And now, check this out. A super, super spacious downstairs basement chill out area. It's with, like the second living room. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a second house in the yeah. basement. You've got this L shaped, massive L shaped couch, right? All you're missing, I don't know, maybe the TV has disappeared, but there was a TV before. You come here, you watch a movie with your friends, you entertain. This is like a second living room. You said it so well, it's spacious in size. Wow, super cool. And you're pointing it the wrong way because we still need to show that in a second because this is really cool. It gives you a feeling of not being in the basement whatsoever. And that is the English patio here with once again, the same botanic wall feature. When you sit there, you'll see in the detail shots and so forth, it feels like you are on the first floor, not underground because this is underground. What a great, great space to be in summer. It's a little bit cooler, shadier. Fantastic. And it's good for a TV room because, you know, sunlight can be irritating when you want to watch a football game. Should we show the staircase real quick so people understand where you are running down from? This is the staircase that leads down. Patrick was chasing me down into the basement here. And one. <laughs> no, of course. I don't think so. I'm a winner. You are a winner, but you lost this one. Sure. That was the bedroom here. We have a pocketing door. That leads to another bedroom. So basically this home has six furnished ensuite bedrooms and another one that stands empty. Let's have a look together. This could be bedroom number seven. It could also be a games room. It could be anything you want. You could make this section. Staff compartment. Staff compartment, for instance, exactly. Or a playroom has an ensuite. Bathroom, just scooch in with a camera. Same layout and quality usage as everywhere else. Covered spaces. Perfect. And, and it's, again, quite, it's big. Yeah, window. And it's really big in size. It's very big. Yeah. And it has these plugs in, in the, on the floor. Super useful. Yeah, it's got these plugs. I can't open it now. But they are here. So cool. if you need to make like a working space, this could be it. Yeah, nice little four office. Four tables, setup. four plugs. You also have a domotic system here, underfloor heating, air conditioning. You can play with the lights from your iPad, cupboard spaces, everything's here. And if you're in favor of drinking, this bedroom is right in front of. Have you in favor of drinking? <laughs> right in front of your the wine, cooler. wine cellar. A wine cellar, exactly. This is your wine cellar with your nice. This is French wine, no, sorry. We are in Spain. There should be a Spanish wine somewhere. Let's have a look. Okay, 
just put your Spanish wine here or whatever floats your boat, but you have a lot of space to put a solid wine collection here. I would also make like a cigar, a little cigar room. That's probably cooler. Patrick likes to smoke cigars sometimes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Even as a key, I'm <laughs> in case, you know, just, <laughs> if you don't want somebody to nick your alcohol, you just shut it and take it with you. Correct. Little laundry room. Just a quick look, it's not as interesting as the rest. And from here, let's point out, we have a lot of carport parking facilities and a garage for at least four cars. Let's look at it. How many cars do you think would fit into this garage? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cars. One, two. Let, let's be safe and call it a five car garage. You could squish on even more if you're yeah. a talented driver. But hey guys, I'm so happy that this house has a garage underground with a lot of parking facilities because we're talking about 8,650,000 euros in this grand home. You'd expect it to have everything a luxury home as such deserves. The entrance is at the far end. You've got this entire drive-in up to the front of the house that maybe I'll run up a tiny bit just to show you a little bit. How much space? we have here. And you'll see it in the detail shot now that this is where you can park your car just to quickly jump into your house and go back also with a botanic garden wall. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, uh, a garage is so important. Yeah. And now guys, from an important garage back to the main living area out to the terrace, let's go. Nice light features as well to illuminate the staircase. And yeah, we're back again in the entrance of the house. What I would love to point out, the luminosity that comes into the house, but also the visibility out to the palm trees, your massive swimming pool with an amazing overflow feature, little stairs going from one side to another. Wow. Wow. A beautiful day in sunshine paradise. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all the details of this home and the contact to the exclusive lister, Sovilla, are in the description box. So make sure to contact them if you're interested. Now, this entire area is also super cool. We have travertine stone laid out, different to what we've seen throughout the entire house. You can see little fossils in them as well. But hey, this is your chill out pit. You come in with your friends, you make a fire, drink some beer, laugh, enjoy life. That's what it's all about. You've also got an outdoor sound system and 2,100 square meters of plot. Beautiful. Now let's take this path back up. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to another Mauro Brothers property tour. Thank you to Solvilla, the exclusive listing agency for allowing us to tour their stunning listing. And of course, guys, Stay tuned. Let us know what you thought of this home in the comment section below. And of course, of this amazing overflow swimming pool, which is one of a kind. Patrick, last words to you, my friend. Hoppala. Yeah, a little bit close. Oh, not ah, too close. Now you get but to close nice. up. <laughs> I have to say, great thing. Let great. me take the camera, I'll point it at you. No, I better not. Oh, come on, man. Don't be like that. No, no. The audience Cam wants to see you. Cameraman is the cameraman. I like my camera, it's my baby. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it, no? Especially when you stand so close to the pool. Imagine, True. I pass the camera, you flip in. Uh, but <sighs> beautiful. The swimming pool is great. The swimming pool is the main selling point of the garden. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's right You've in there. You've seen it from, from different angles from below because there are two levels of the garden. I've actually finished the tour and I'm still going on. Well, let's continue, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, guys. Peace.